What if Goku was born with Mystic Part 2? Now, if you guys remember what happened last time, the Saiyans have arrived to Earth and Goku has defeated them. Now, Vegeta has ran off to Namek to go and search for the Dragon Balls. Now, of course, he heard about this from Frieza, who was communicating with the Scouter across his subordinates. Now, once Veg Vegeta arrives on Namek, pretty much all the events would happen the same. Now, Vegeta knows that he needs to find the Dragon Balls, so that is his mission. He would still have his fights and everything else, all that would happen the same, just this time, there was no Z Fighters there to even help him or for him to deal with. So, he would still uh, steal a good chunk of the Dragon Balls, and Frieza would then call out the Ginyu Force. Once when the Ginyu Force arrives, they are going to go search around for the Dragon Balls, which Vegeta has been sneaking around, trying to find all the Dragon Balls that he can. Now, Vegeta here would meet Elder Guru. Now, of course, Nail would instantly block the way and say, you're not allowed in there, I will not allow you to. But Guru would actually allow it, as true Vegeta is evil, but he's the only guy that can stop Frieza from abusing their Dragon Balls. Now, we all know that Vegeta wants to use them if he doesn't have a choice so he can get immortality and he can go kill Frieza, because that's the only way. But either way, Elder Guru would actually unlock Vegeta's potential. Attack me in the comments if you want. But Elder Guru prefers Vegeta getting something than Frieza getting something. Because at least Vegeta is going to stop Frieza, and that's a whole problem to deal with. And Elder Guru's time is passing on anyway. So he hopes that if that's the case, then the Dragon Balls will be useless, and nobody will get to use them. So, Vegeta would have his potential unleashed, or his power unlocked. And his power level was around 30,000, so adding around a 2 times boost or so for the pencil boost, I would bump him at around 60 to 70k. Now at this time, the Ginyu Force would soon arrive up, not all of them, and Vegeta would fight the likes of Raccoon, Jason Birder, and Guldo. Now Vegeta would actually be able to handle these guys, not much of an issue. Pretty much a little bit more difficult than what Goku did, but he can handle them now. And then, he would still be a little bit injured, but if you remember, there's the little green Namekian, Dende. Now Nail would actually help out Vegeta and fight out the Ginyu Force, and as you know, Nail has a power level of around 40,000, which is very impressive. He would be able to fight one of the Ginyu forces pretty easily. Now, of course, Nail would tell Dende that if that this Saiyan can get stronger, the more he's hurt. So, if he's hurt, I want you to heal him so he can get stronger. So, Vegeta was actually injured after fighting all the guys, and so he would get another Zenkai boost. Uh, they definitely exploited Zenkai boost in the Frieza saga, didn't they? So, Vegeta would get a little Zenkai boost. It'll bump him up to around 120,000, which is nearly as pretty much equal to Ginyu. Now, once when Ginyu arrives, Vegeta has to fight Captain Ginyu. Now, when they fight, Captain Ginyu would try to change now technique, but he wouldn't at the same time. Because they're so even in power, he doesn't see a reason as to, as he still thinks he can beat Vegeta. But, when Vegeta has more skill and he's more bloodthirsty in battle, he would be able to de defeat Captain Ginyu. And if Captain Ginyu did try, Vegeta could trick him and throw a frog in the air, so Vegeta just doesn't get absorbed. So... Captain Ginyu would either be dead or he'd be a frog. Now Vegeta was very gravely injured, like 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 near death, because he just fought an equal battle. Now Frieza is trying to find them, and now remember Frieza's scouters are messed up because Jace never had the chance to go over to Frieza and same with Ginyu to give him the Dragon Balls and also to also give him a new scouter. So Frieza actually doesn't know where they are. Which is this terrifying part, is that Frieza does not know where they are, so he doesn't know what really to do. So Frieza's actually trying to find a scouter so he can locate where they're all at. So everybody else suppresses their power, and so they would then start healing Vegeta once more. Now Vegeta having a near-depth Zenkai, his power level will be bumped up to around 600 to 800,000. He got a lot more powerful here. Now Vegeta thinks that since Frieza, he can't sense energy. That's perfect. And there's no scouters around. And Vegeta made sure of it. The, the dead Ginyu Force members, he destroyed all the scouters. So there's no way that they can find it. Now Vegeta can sense energy. So he knows where Frieza is at all times. But Frieza doesn't know where the, he is. So Vegeta was able to gather up all the Dragon Balls. And then they would all fly off. And then they would summon Shenron. Or I guess Namek Shenron? Or maybe you just call them making Dragon Balls. Now, of course, Frieza would then see the sky turning dark, and he would see in the far, far, far distance a massive dragon creature. And he thinks that that must be the Dragon Balls. He would rush off at full speed towards Vegeta. 
Now, Vegeta knows that Frieza's right along the way. They need to hurry up. Now, the first wish, and of course, Dende did not want to do it. They had a little thing because Dende knows that he's evil. He's just going to abuse his wish and do everything else. But now, Vegeta says that we do not have a chance. We need to hurry up and go. So, Frieza was on the way, and Vegeta would tell him, Quick, wish for my immortality. I will not destroy your stupid planet. I don't care about you. But Frieza's coming, and we need to do something now. Dende would think differently. Dende would use the first wish and wish all of his Namekian people back. Then, Dende would then use the Dragon Balls as, in a certain time, that Nam Namek will get moved to an entirely new location. So Frieza can never find it. And the dragon said, okay, no problem. Now, right before they can get a final wish, Guru passes away. Now remember, he made this wish before Guru passed, so Guru was not brought back. And even when he was, he only had a couple seconds left to live, and then he passed on again. Now the Dragon Balls turn to stone. Now Vegeta thinks, am I immortal now? And Dende says, actually, no, you're not. The first, And he explained what he did. Vegeta was furious, but Dende says, I'm doing it for the good of my people, not for you. So Vegeta was mad, but that quickly turns to fear as he turns and sees Frieza. Now this is where a massive problem is about to happen. So, Vegeta's now going to have to face Frieza, and Nail would try to help, but Frieza would waste no time in taking down Nail, as Nail does, is powerless against this version of Frieza. Now, Vegeta here, Vegeta here would be struggling, and he would fight first form Frieza. He would actually overpower him. Second form Frieza is to where problems will commence. He would actually beat down on Vegeta pretty severely, and nearly kill him. He would actually stab him with one of his horns. Now, Vegeta would actually remember what that little bald guy did, how he did a blinding technique. And he says, wait a minute, maybe if I try it, I can blind him and I can get away. So that's what he would try. He, he would yell out, solar flare, and it would surprisingly work and bl completely blind Frieza. Now Vegeta would then sneak away, as Frieza cannot sense energy. He, he he would tell that he would demand that the little Namekian heal him. As he says, if I do not kill Frieza now, then pretty much every single Namekian you know is going to die. So, Dende reluctantly agrees, and Dende heals him once more. Now, once when Dende heals Vegeta, Vegeta's power level will jump, and this is a near-depth Zenkai from around, I would say around six 600,000 to around four to five million. Vegeta's base form is really powerful here. Now, no, Vegeta's not getting Super Saiyan, by the way. He, he's not pushed that far yet. But, maybe in the future, he might get Super Saiyan. But now, Vegeta here is even stronger than Goku. Now, you guys remember, Goku likes to wait for his opponent to get really strong, and he waits for his opponent to rise up in power. Vegeta does not care about that. Vegeta knows he has to kill him now. Now, Frieza, in his second form, w would say he doesn't know how he came back from near death, but he will kill him either way. Then, Vegeta here would waste no time and severely beat down on Frieza. Now, he would actually almost kill Frieza, and he would fire a full-power Gallic gun right at Frieza, while Frieza was mid-transforming. Because Frieza was trying to transform into his third form, or his final form, but v Vegeta was not going to let that happen. It would actually blow half of Frieza's bodies off, so pretty much his legs and a part of his hand was gone. Now, Frieza was severely injured. Right before Vegeta could finish it, suddenly, out of nowhere, Planet Namek started moving. It started moving very fast. And Vegeta was starting to slide backwards. Him and Frieza was going to get thrown out into space, but the Namekians can stay on the planet. Because the planet was moving so fast to a new place. Dende pretty much is going to remove Frieza and Vegeta from the planet, and they'll never know where Namek is. So Frieza was gravely injured. Vegeta wanted to survive, so Vegeta would then run off, and Vegeta would then find... Frieza spaceship. Now we did know that Frieza spaceship was destroyed uh, because of uh, Vegeta when he shot a beam through it. Let's just say in this what if Vegeta was a bit more secretive and he just kind of walked out with the Dragon Balls. He didn't blow a giant hole and flew out. So the ship is fine. So Vegeta would then get on the ship and he knows how to control it. He would use the ship and fly out of there. Now Frieza was gravely injured and bleeding to death. He was flung into the void of space completely. 
Now, remember, the new Namek was put to an entirely new section of the universe, and they were safe. Nobody knows where that Namek is. And now it was time to rebuild, and they also had to make a new Elder, which was going to come naturally anyway, as since all the Namekians are back. So once when they get the Dragon Balls back, they can also do a wish to wish back anybody that Frieza has killed. So they can bring back other species as well, but they might hold that off. But now, Vegeta was then far in space. He was half happy that he survived, but he was beyond furious. He could have had him. He could have killed Frieza. He, he had a shot. He would have destroyed him. But now he thinks, why don't I just go find him in space and maybe kill him? Now, after searching, he could not find Frieza's body. So he thinks, well, maybe Frieza's gone, as he does not sense his energy either. He thinks, well, good riddance then, as he wished he could have done it himself, but maybe with his gravely injuries, Frieza could not have survived, and Frieza's gone. So, Vegeta now, with his new power, he has to think smart. He knows that Kakarot in them is far more stronger, but he could also use the Earth's Dragon Balls to wish for the immortality that he wanted. But he's not going to be an idiot. He wants to lay low and kind of handle any of other Frieza's little subordinates currently, right now, until he will come back to Earth and fight off Kakarot. So now, during this time, going back on the Earth, Goku and his friends were enjoying peace. Uh, as they know, as they heard about the thing about Frieza and Vegeta, but ever since then, the Scouter's been blank, and Bulma heard on the Scouter that Lord Frieza is gone and dead. So they think, oh, so Vegeta actually did it. And Goku's like, oh, well, that's good for Vegeta. Vegeta did it. And they're like, yeah, but he can come back for us. And Goku's like, ah, oh, he wouldn't. Uh, he's not a horrible guy. I mean, he got what he wanted. He killed Frieza. So, I mean, he'll probably leave us alone. And now Goku here was actually training harder than ever before to push his limits. As he as he knows that, man, as Goku wishes that he could have fought Frieza. He sounded like a really strong guy. Being the most powerful being in the universe. But Vegeta was able to beat him. That's really impressive. Now, Goku's pretty hyped up about Vegeta, and he does want to fight him soon one day, but he's going to focus on training and doing his own thing. Now, as years would pass on, there's no androids, if you guys remember, Goku would still get the heart virus. Now, obviously, when Goku gets the heart virus, he passes on. Goku's dead. Because remember, there's nobody from the future to come back, because why would they have a reason to come back to get that? Goku just passes away. Now, of course, they remember Namek, and they think, well, Namek has Dragon Balls. Maybe we can go use those to go bring back Goku, since our Dragon Balls can't. It's worth a shot. So, they would ask the Earth Dragon, can you take us to Namek? And the dragon would say, all right, no problem. And I do feel like if the dragon, I think oh, the dragon's pretty much all-knowing, so he, he, would, he would figure out what Namek is. And so he would send them all to New Namek, then this is about a year in the making, by the way. They would arrive to New Namek, they would, they would meet the Namekians, they would befriend them. As they see that Gohan and all them, and even Piccolo's there, they're all good in nature. And they're all good people. Well, Piccolo's ish, but... Now the Elder understands that, okay, well, sure. You guys can use our Dragon Balls to wish for your father back. And then we can also send you home with the same Dragon Balls. Now, of course, you're going to have Goku being wished back. Um, uh, now, during this time, if you guys remember, Goku's dead. So, what's he been doing for over a year? He's been training with King Kai. So, Goku would act... Now, King Kai would actually be shocked that Goku has this Kai ability. Now, I do feel like King Kai would know about this mystic ability. So, he thinks, hmm, well, I mean, you can always come back, and I can definitely show you to my higher friends that I got... A.K.A. Supreme Kai and such. So, Goku would obviously learn the Spirit Bomb. He would also learn Kaioken. And he would also experience gravity training for the first time. Which, obviously, Goku never experienced that before. So, 10 times gravity was actually a lot on him. Now, Goku here is way stronger than the original. If you can... I, this isn't, there's no point gauging a power level. Since he's always in his mystic form, which pushes him to his highest potential. So... Goku, in this, pretty much his power level and power scaling, he's probably around the level of, probably around Perfect Cell, or maybe a little bit less. So he's kind of, so he's definitely up there. Goku's very powerful, but he's definitely in the realm of the Cell level. Maybe around Super Saiyan Goku level, or around Cell level, or Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. He's definitely in that ballpark of power. So Goku says, for sure, I'll definitely do that. 
Now, Goku would then be sent back, and Goku knows that Kami can actually take Goku to King Kai anytime he needs to, so that's good anyway. And also, too, King Kai has a couple buddies here that are actually alive, and also King Yema, if he puts in a favor, King Yema can teleport Goku there. So, he can do it anyway. So now, of course, they would all enjoy peace, and they'll be happy for the next couple of years. Now, if you guys remember, Vegeta's been off battling using Frieza's spaceship, battling off Frieza's men. Vegeta actually caught up and killed King Cold. Um, any, any other part of Frieza, he actually ended. Now, Frieza's still alive, but we'll hold off on that later. Frieza is, is still alive, but he's on a, like a, you could say like a scrapyard planet, which is scrap and metal and such, but we'll get there later on. Now, Vegeta here at this point actually has unlocked Super Saiyan, because since pushing his limits so much and training near death every single day, with the anger knowing the fact that Kakarot is stronger than him, he would push his limits and he would unlock Super Saiyan. Now, Vegeta here has pretty much taken over King Cold's, like, reign over the universe. He's technically the ruler of the universe. He basically took over King Cold's empire, and he's basically the king of all the, of all the people. So, this would obviously make Vegeta's ego really high, and Vegeta wants to head right to Earth, as Vegeta needs to settle a score with Kakarot. And that is it for this one, if you guys. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. Let's get to 200 likes in this video. Get me to 10,000 subscribers, and I'll see you all on the next one.